Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about energy in versus energy out. It's a theory that if you consume less calories than you burn, you will lose weight. And um, for those of you that are watching this video and have maybe tried reducing calories and it's not worked for you, has it? I mean, this is the big thing. It is a, a theory that has no proven merit. Let's uh, have a look at why there is a problem with this very simplistic approach. Now, it's not the way to lose weight because it ignores the body's own regulation of fat storage. There is this terrible phrase that a calorie is a calorie and that also is not true because uh, if you were allowed to have 2000 calories a day and every single um, calorie came from a bowl of sugar then you would know that that is uh, not a way to keep yourself healthy and certainly not going to make you feel full definitely make you feel sick and I can guarantee it would make you fat. Uh, in fact the two medical textbooks I have with me today Guyton's Medical Physiology and Jocelyn's uh, book about diabetes Elliot Jocelyn actually is the expert in diabetes um, everybody in the medical profession and I think possibly most people in the public know that diabetes and obesity losing weight are all very much mixed in together Jocelyn uh, made it very clear that anyone wishing to lose weight would have to stop any uh, reaction of insulin in your body also in that book they say the cornerstone of, of any the, uh, therapy to lower your weight is a reduction in calories so they say in this textbook this is it this is the cornerstone of the therapy reduce your calories in that same study the same paper in the same textbook it also says that actually this approach has no proven merit so they do say that the clinical studies do not back up this um, hypotheses that um, energy balance is what it's all about okay so if you want to know a lot more about this I do have other videos about losing weight but let's go into this energy balance idea because strangely there's still personal trainers that believe this if you reduce your calories you are going to feel more hungry you'll have no feeling of fullness so this is not good for your mental state also there's a strong possibility you won't stick to your diet the other thing that is often uh, overlooked is your body's regulation. Now, just standing here talking and sleeping, doing my everyday tasks, I burn about 70% of my input of energy just maintaining my body in this perfect state of wonderfulness. I'm 53 now and um, I know my temperature should be a certain uh, temperature. If I was to reduce my calories, the body does not want to give up fat. So it would reduce energy in other ways. For instance, it would lower your temperature. I've, count, uh, I've currently studied this myself uh, on myself and uh, deliberately put a bit of weight on then tried to lose it and measured my temperature. And my temperature dropped by two degrees every day, which doesn't sound like much, but it's showing me that the body is hanging onto my fat and instead lowering all my other activities to make sure that the fat stays there. So we need to factor in the fact that if you lower your calories, your body is going to fight you every single step of the way. The biggest thing, of course, is the lack of nutrients. When you reduce your calories, you definitely reduce the amount of nutrients, and that's also your minerals, your electrolytes, so you're going to feel pretty poor, which is another reason why people who reduce their calories then go and crave and snack because they just feel full of uh, fatigue. They have no energy whatsoever. The more I have studied this, the more frightening the lack of clinical studies and evidence it becomes apparent. In fact, the leading uh, people in obesity, in Guyton's, do actually say that uh, the energy balance idea just sounds right. And let's be honest, it does sound like it would work, but that is only if you ignore that your body will then reduce your energy in other ways and hold on to the fat. It is also the way you get your nutrients, your mix in your meals, whether you've got protein, whether you've got fats, whether you've got carbohydrates, whether you've got sugar. And carbohydrates and sugar does tend to be the culprit when it comes to retaining weight and gaining weight. Uh, but that is for another video. If you found this interesting, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. And if you've watched this on other social media platforms, thank you very much. And there'll be some other videos coming along.